Hello everyone, good morning. Today is Friday and here we are in our Growing From Within program. Today is day 12 and we are going to talk about abundance and gratitude. To talk about this topic, I pondered two questions so that we can reflect on them and is are you grateful with you and how often do you recognize what you have accomplished and how much you have succeeded. In this modern era, in these modern um, times, the number one excuse for many people is I don't have time, I am busy. That's the first line of defense that tells us that you are suddenly driving you into the mode of not being accountable for everything that is happening within you and those levels of stress are just going to drain your energy, raise your um, heartbeats, it, they are going to lower your self-esteem and they are not, not being mindful with that kind of life and being always being in the busyness will drain your mind and most likely any self-care measure. That's the idea that when you get in that mode of being busy, Instead, what you can do is embrace and post your life to witness and be grateful with your journey, with whatever is happening within you and all the things that you have accomplished. Start being rewarded of your journey. Start reflecting upon the experiences that you have had and also start acknowledging what you have already achieved. That's the idea, because if we don't pause, if we don't take a break, if we don't reward ourselves, it's going to be very, very difficult to wire our brain to get more, to want more. And that's the number one cause of falling into the burnout syndrome or the overwhelm. The idea is to flavor, to seize the journey, to get more aware of the role that we have been already doing and this year is a perfect year to do that because we have had a lot of pauses and time and changes so all of this shifting experience that is happening outside is giving us the clue also to start shifting and transforming every kind of emotion that we have within us and to stop making a pause, we already saw, we already witnessed that anything is urgent. So unless you are in a threatening situation, that's the only thing that can be rushed. Anything else can wait and will wait if you make the pause, if you reflect on your life. As we spoke yesterday, stillness, making those pauses in your life will give you the leverage that many people are not aware because when you are in pause, when you are reflecting on your life, you are seeing the pieces, you are assembling a new pathway, you are acknowledging the things that you have already achieved, you are seeing what you have done and you are clearly being aware of the lessons that you can pick up from the journey. You can recharge Every time you are doing a project, you can create an intention for that project. To have a pause, to reflect upon the journey, to reflect upon the project, and to start having a charging time. That charging time, that visualizing time, that intention that you are having, it's going to lead you to much better results than just keep doing the things. If I am in one project right now, and I'm going to pass to the next one. I'm doing a presentation and then I have to make a important phone call. So just take a pause in between those two activities, in between those two projects, so that you can charge yourself with breathing time, with stretching a little bit, with visualizing what you want in the call. As th that also, it's going to lead your brain into the image, into the picture that you want to happen in the call or in the meeting that you are going to have. When you are just keeping from one project to the next one, to the next one, 
you are not having space in your mind to let the stimuli to detoxify all the things that you are not going to use and your mind gets in the reactive mode and probably in that call, in that meeting that you're going to have next, if you have an experience or um, an argument or a discussion about something that you are not agreeing, you are going to be reactive. Instead, when you take time, when you reflect, when you start doing the things by assembling the pieces before you get to the experience, that's when you have leverage because your brain already knows that some things can happen, that you can have a disagreement with the person and you are going to handle it different. You are going to let the other person also give their opinion as we spoke yesterday. But if, we, if you don't have time, your mind is cluttered with a lot of things and we need to recharge. A good strategy to start recharging yourself between projects is to take a pause of 5 or 10 minutes every 50 minutes of work. You can get into deep work in one activity for 50 minutes and then you can rest 5 or 10 minutes. That's it. And if you're going to switch projects, you can take the 10 minutes and you can meditate a little bit breathe and start visualizing what you want in the next project what do you want to achieve what are the things that you need to move in that project that it's going to be new moreover if you are going to start a new big launching project or something that requires more energy from from you take one or two days to reflect on the things to start seeing all the pieces, the outline, everything that you need for that project. And start also seeing other people that have done the same so that you can have ideas and you, have, you can have um, something, an inspiration that can give you to make it better in your own journey, to do the things better. If we take those pieces of time, if we take those pauses, that's going to be much better because you are going to be grateful with the things that are going to happen, that are going to be uh, in your experience. So when we are in gratitude mode, there is no space for um, reaction. There is no space to be stressed. There is no space to be angry. In gratitude mode, we enter a state where we are open. We have the mind and the heart open. And that's the idea, to have that space to fill it up with the vision that you want to experience. Abundance is not always having something to do. Abundance is not having huge amounts of money. Abundance is experiencing life in your most peaceful and grateful state that is abundance where you can really take time to go on vacations when you can take time to be with your family when you can take time to watch something that you have been watching to also as Cindy is saying in the comments cooperate cooperate with people of course to start agreeing with other people, to start um, making partnerships, making new friendships, ma making new social circles. That's the expansion that gives you when you are in that mode, in the mode of reflection, in the mode of pausing. When you are always busy, when you are always doing something, you don't even know if that something is going to lead you somewhere. You are so immersed in the things that you are not thinking if the things that you are doing are really giving you the life that you want. So many people live like that. And the first excuse is, I don't have time. But they don't like their life. But they don't start doing anything with their bodies. They don't take care of their bodies because they don't have time. They start derailing and they start detaching from nature 
which is also a good example, thank you, Cindy. Nature is also something that can connect us with the experience of being grateful, of being at peace, of reflecting about the things that we have engaged in our lives. And that's the new reality, that's a new mode that we want. We are going to shift still, probably for, a, for another three or five years, this experience is going to last, this shifting, this transformation, because we are going to, well, we are giving birth to a new society. And it's going to be a society where you will need more consciousness, because we will experience also a lot of things in terms of in artificial intelligence, in, in terms of many jobs being done now by automatic processes. So now you will be creative. Now you will think, what can you do? What can you cooperate? How can you be more conscious? And how can, you, can we help, every one of us, can we help to shift nature? Because we are depleting this planet. And we need to think about that because abundance is having nature. Abundance is having all of the resources that we have not been careful with them. So now is the time to start creating a new concept of abundance and being grateful all the time for whatever you have. Even if the experience is bad, you can find a lesson, you can find a meaning in that experience and it can take you to another level. So start being open in your eyes, start being awake of the things that you have around you, of the people that is making interactions with you, and of the things that you can do for the next stage that is coming. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Cindy, for all your messages, your comments. I really appreciate your connection. That's the idea, to start connecting with new like-minded people and to create a community empowered and aware and owning everything that happens within us. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time to talk about, to reflect on the weekend. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a wonderful weekend. And if you like the video, if you like the information, please help me to share the information. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye.